All of these old items may look like rusted junk to most, but Tim Byrne believes vision is the art of seeing what isn't there, a quote he likes from fellow Irishman Jonathan Swift. So you see a small crane and then you think furniture? No, I don't. I see a small crane and I look at it and say it's magnificent and we've got, we got to use it some way. Ah. So that, this is, all of that turns into all of this? Right. That's incredible. I'm in awe as I walk into his 5,000 square foot showroom at Get Back Inc. in Oakville. So the crane turned into a chair. This crane I found that it was in a field for 40 years. It was just left line idle. And uh, we took it, took it apart completely, cleaned every nut, bowl, washer on it, put it back together. And that's from the 1920s. The chair was designed by a Danish designer called Nana Dietzel in the 1950s. It's like an adult swing, only it's comfortable. <laughs> Before we get to see more of his incredible vintage industrial creations, I feel compelled to learn more about the man who created them. Tim first came to the U.S. as a painter and then became a carpenter. Never imagined I'd be doing this and there's no other place I could be doing it because, you know, 99.99% of what you see in here is American, which is great. And I, I love American industrial over any other type of industrial that we've seen around the world. It's masculine, it's much stronger, it was really well, well built. Tim introduces us to his eclectic team, all of them committed to making the world a little more interesting with unique, one-of-a-kind items. I'm noticing there's a lot of genius quotes on the wall, quotes from great minds. Right. You like to dig deep here. Well, yeah, they're not original to us, you know. <laughs> we, we, we need all the help we can get. <laughs> Some might say there's genius in turning old brushes used to clean a conveyor belt into art. What happens is I just see things and, um, you know, I'll be attracted to them. I, I saw these and I said, oh, God, they're so cool. I know what I'll do with them. So I just took them, put, threw them in the back of my truck, and we took them. And, um, and then just one day, you know, I just felt inspired to lay them out in a certain way and found a board and we put them on it. And uh, there it is. Aaron Fagan is the content manager on the website and a poet, which you need to be to write descriptions worthy of Tim's creations. There's so much story behind the pieces that we make here, and it's a story that needs to be told. I mean, Tim's business, Get Back Inc., the very name, uh, it's about hearkening back to an earlier time when uh, things were built with this kind of you know, attention and care. Check out this conference table that does anything but boring meeting. It was created when Tim heard about an old woodworking shop in Massachusetts that was closing down. So I went up and I saw these um, horses. These are horses that were on each side of a saw. They were painted green and they were a different color and they were set up kind of differently. So um, I just knew I had to have them. So uh, and we brought them back and then I I had this beam off a metal brake, so we just devised a way to connect the whole thing together. Each piece is one of a kind. Here's another twist on a table. So this is a uh, table that we found in the Carolinas from a uh, woodworking factory. And it's adjustable, you can, you can wind it, the table goes up and down. It, it, they, they don't make things like they used to, thank God, or we wouldn't be in business. <laughs> <laughs> The legs of this desk were once industrial ironing boards. And check out this beautiful piece. Tim found this giant slab of marble in a farmer's field in Connecticut. So we cleaned it. And then we built this base out of old uh, pipe, which we've obviously cleaned. They were all painted and we just put the what, whole thing what do, you, what do you paint this with? Because it still just looks like metal. Yes. Uh, well, that's a secret. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> The light is an industrial light um, from a machine shop and it was designed in the 1800s by a dentist who could not find lights that would articulate that he could move to look in the patient's mouth. A map on the wall shows how the pieces made right here in Connecticut can be found all around the world. You know, we just gave, kind of gave an indication of uh, how far our pieces have traveled, uh, South Africa, New Zealand, um, 
Hawaii, um, Dublin, believe it or not, London, England, uh, all over the United States. From fine hotels to celebrity homes. We've sold to Bruce Springsteen, Bono, Meg Ryan, Jimmy Kimmel. When you can buy anything, why not make it meaningful? Tim will spend weeks turning this old metal shelf into art you can use. It's so neat because this would have come out of a huge big library. And this is an end piece that would have went against the wall, which makes it very rare. And it has two gables on it, so it's a, it's a really an exquisite piece. And talk about built to last. This is a steel cast iron cabinet. Yes. And it's How much does it weigh? It probably weighs about 800 pounds. Wow. What is it's this? Steel. Steel. Yeah. Steel top table. Steel top. Very cool. Wow. And it has, you know, as it, as it came off the uh, out of the mill, it, it develops, each piece of steel will develop its own character. How about an old piece of steel once used to hold an industrial saw for your TV? I was curious about the, the piece, where it came from, and I looked up the, the, the company, they're still in business. Yeah. And because I wanted to inquire, did they still make these? And uh, so I spoke to the, a guy who worked there, and he said, Tim, you have one of the cast iron ones? I said, yeah. And he said, I've been with this company 40 years, and the only time I've seen one was in a museum. These now famous chairs were used in the movie John Wick 2. And so this would be for, for a kitchen island. island? You can sit here? Kitchen island, a bar. And then when you get up, you don't yeah. have to worry about pushing the stools in. You're just yeah, done. Absolutely. That's My great. wife loves them. I have them at home. My wife thinks they're absolutely fantastic. Yeah, they are fantastic. I want those. And this chair is from an old airplane. This is a chair from a, uh, a navigator's chair from a, uh, an airplane. These tables were once water tanks, and these are just for decoration. And these are objects that they use in uh, printing factories. Printing factories are the these greatest These are printing stuff. blocks, so you yeah. can just decorate with the printing blocks. Could some people take them and they put photographs in here? How about a vintage dollhouse? I picked this up at a flea market one day and I thought it was really cute. I thought it was neat. It's on a, um, it's on on one it. of our coffee tables. And uh, I just love the fact that somebody took the time to put this together for a kid. Get Back Inc. is about having art and history you can use in your home. You're the best kept secret in Oakville. There's 30,000 square feet of space here and most people probably have no idea you're here. Yes, <laughs> but we're trying to change that. <laughs>